Hey guys, and welcome to something a little bit different. So, um, yeah, for those who do know, last Sunday I returned to the UK from Jeshul Fushonka in Poland, and, um, yeah, while at the duty-free part of the airport, after going through security waiting for boarding, I spotted these Kinder Surprised Airbus-sponsored eggs. So, um, they cost 49 zlots here, it's about, about £9.86, something like that. And, um, yeah, the stories on the shelf, I thought, these look interesting, and um, yeah, it's like I've never seen before. So in short, uh, Airbus have like a small sponsorship with Kinder, where if you go to like the airport duty freeze and whatnot, so you get these like specialised Airbus A330 um, Kinder eggs. Today is also the first flight of the Airbus A330 800 Neo, also known as the A330 200 new engine types aka the original plan for the A350, before Airbus decided to just to redesign it. You know, today is quite a fitting day to actually do an Airbus A330 themes video as well. Again, I thought they were a bit of fun, I spotted these on the shelves, I have no idea what to expect with these. So, um, yeah, I thought, let's buy a box of them and see what we get inside. So, uh, yeah, quick look at the packaging. So, on the front you can see, uh, Kin Surprise World Above the Clouds, it's like their tagline for it. Uh, there you go, five Airbus aircraft inside. This is all efficiency, all officially licensed. And for those who do know my channel, I'm not the number one Airbus fan. But hey, what can I say, really? And um, yeah, all five of them, full collection. Top, you get like a sneak preview of what you're getting inside. Although we'll look at that in more detail once you actually open the eggs up. On the back, you get your normal guff, your health and safety, your don't choke on the yellow um, yolk bits. And getting a little diorama of what you're meant to do with these uh, models once you get them all. So it turns into like a little stands, the box, and um, yeah, it's just uh, quite an interesting little concept to this. Not something I've really seen before, but for those who do know their Kinder Eggs, they are generally quite nice. So um, first things first, let us open the box. Let's get our trusty knife out. Um, figure out how she get into this. I believe there's tape on the side here. Yes, there is. If I cut it this way then. There we go. Open it up and inside, if I get it all, we got five Kinder Surprise eggs in a very blend. Whoops. Uh, yeah, a very blender esque aircraft setup. So you've got your um, Virtual Horizon there, you've got a dial of some sort, two knobs, a switch. This looks more like a blender than an Airbus cockpit. But, hey, uh, <laughs> what can you do, really? And if I move those to the back quickly, those are my Orbex mouse mats from the um, Flight Sim Show. Very nice. It's actually a rather nice mouse mat, I must li not lie. And then on top here, you got like, a little stand for all of your um, aircraft. So if I actually now slide out... Ah, I see what we're doing. So if we prepare the box first, so what you're meant to do is tear along the line. So it folds, folds, Rip. Cross the sides. Um, what we must do here is that the set of tear. I believe it is. Yes, it is. Tear along the line. I'm very good at this, as you can probably tell. Gosh, I'm gonna rip this up, aren't I? Uh, do I have any scissors on me? Come on, surely I must have something. Uh, let me jump cut a second. And there we go, slightly tore at the top there, just glue that back. And um, yeah, it's like a little pamphlet thing inside as well. So a few facts about the A38, A330, sorry, as well as like an instruction manual how to put it all together. So um, of course, got to go through the uh, did you know facts. So, the A330 is currently operates over 300 airports worldwide, over 800 million passengers have flown it. Every day, um, the A330 fleet flies equivalent to 15 times to the moon. Every time an A330 takes off somewhere in the world, every minute, and an aircraft A330 takes off or lands every 28 seconds every single day. And of course, the uh, Kinder fact, um, 50 million Kinder Egg Surprises can fill up an A330-300. And again, of course, you've got your basic instructions on how to do it. So one thing I've noticed out here, that apparently it's like an open here tab on the eggs, although I don't actually see... Ah, it's on the back. It is there, it's on the back, so uh, it looks like it's a double sided kind of thing. And my guess is because it obviously creates some sort of stand. 
So you've got your clouds background, you stick your weird cockpit thing. I don't know, it creates something. It creates something. So uh, that I will figure out at some point. But now, come to the interesting bits. The aeroplanes themselves. So 5X, there are 5 model um, A330s in the uh, entire set. So what we will do is, if I now go through the instructions, you tear open the open here notch at the back, which I know what I'm doing it. So this just peels off, kind of destroying it. Man, if you like your uh, diorama, this is not the most fun thing to do in the world, is it? There we go. This, I presume, comes up. Yeah, kind of. Well, there we go, two of the eggs have released. There we go. Man, that's, uh, that's an excessive uh, bit there, oh well. And um, yeah, there we go. Five Kinder Eggs. No idea what's in any of them just yet. So we get the fun job of opening them up. And um, yeah, enjoying the uh, chocolate inside as well. There we go, all the uh, plastic covers are now open. I must say, credits to uh, Kinder as well, that these eggs actually survived the journey. I mean, right in there, very warm aircraft, and a rather bumpy landing. But uh, now's the fun part. Yeah, very nice. And then, if you don't know Kinder chocolate, uh, it's a very, very milky chocolate. Very much loved all over Europe, and of course, if you taste it, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. It's a very delicious chocolate. Right, I'll wrap all the uh, yolks, and let's take a look at what's inside. Right, and there we have it. So all the chocolates now just uh, off screen somewhere behind the camera. It's all there, and um. Yeah, we are now left with five little yolks. So we're going to open them all one by one and take a look what we've got inside. So straight away, you can see what the first one is. It's a tie, A330. Let's open it all up, make sure we've got everything inside. And um, yeah, it's a little bit of assembly required. Quite a bit, actually. And uh, if we just open up the pamphlet, take a look at what we get. So um, yes, yeah, the tie A330, 300. You go, got your fuel capacity, passengers, range, length. They've actually misspelled length. I don't know if you can see that, but length is spelt L E N G T H, not L E N G H T. As someone who works in social media and digital marketing, like my job is to make sure spellings all correct and whatnot. Now, unless it's like an American way of spelling it, that's actually incorrect. And yeah, don't want to show that, since I've spoiled the uh, rest of what's to come. So you have a little Airbus plaque here, and you've got uh, the wing, sheesh. Talk about uh, wing flex, this is proper um, 787 style going on there. And you've got the two halves of the aircraft connected by uh, some weird umbilical cord thing. Oh god, it actually won't detach. It's like it actually physically bends the aircraft together. Right, okay, so I'll um, put it together. Actually, let's actually do it on camera so you can see what the uh, process is. Make sure I can actually uh, know what it is as well. That'd be quite useful. Uh, yeah, it's not on that. It's going to be on this, isn't it? Right, step one is to bend Right, bend the wings into position, slot it in. Okay, so those come down. Oh yeah, it's quite flexible plastic, this. The wings then slot into position. Ah, there we go. So engines, wings, force it in. And the rear of the aircraft comes together. And it kind of forms together. Hmm, a little bit of work to go. Oh no. There we go, yeah. And it creates like a little model. Every 30. 
Pops are actually quite neat. I can't lie. For a Kinder Chocolate Airbus sponsor. Can't really complain by that. And the sticker, you just peel that off. Please. Man. Come on. Come on. There we go. And then that, if I don't grab my bit, goes on like that. Not quite. Come on, draw ya. Come on, draw ya. It's just a Kinder Egg. And there you go. And then finally, just take something like that. Cannot deny it. That is pretty neat. Move those out of the way. And we are left with a little A330 Thai statue. So, right, so I'll put the other four of them together and uh, check out the entire collection of this Kinder set. And there we have it. We have our fleet of five Airbus A330 300 Kinder Egg aircrafts. So we get the Kinder Livery, we get Lufthansa, we get Thai, we get Turkish Airlines, and we get Singapore. And I have to say, these are genuinely rather well detailed for what they are. I mean, if you go up close to one of them, let the camera focus, please. There you go, Singapore Airlines, we got your logos. Here we're detailing the engines with fan blades in them on the carriage. Fair enough, they're a bit more like branded Kinder logo model number. But um, yeah, the actual aircraft themselves are actually rather well detailed. So if we go through all the aircraft, we have the Singapore Airlines 9 Victor Sierra Tango Alpha. I'm not 100 sure if these are like the real world tailcoats of these aircraft, but I've got fair reasons to believe that they are. So you've got Singapore Airlines, you've got the. Uh, whoops. We've got the Kinder Egg branded livery. So this is more of their own like gimmicky thing just to kind of get their own sponsor in. I mean, red wings, red engines. I've got a feeling that this aircraft may not be the most efficient in the air. But uh, not a bad livery nevertheless. This one's tail's a bit funny. It's just a little bit. This one's not exactly survived the mauling process too well, I must be honest with you. Which is a bit of a shame, but uh, what can you do really? So... It's a bit of a gimmicky one. We've got the uh, Lufthansa, which was the probably the hardest one to put together because the wings were not really folding properly. But yeah, you got Lufthansa, uh, Delta, Alpha, India, Kilo, Alpha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. grey engines, grey wings. Again, fairly detailed across the body. We've got the um, little logo on the nose there, as well as the Star Alliance logo on the door. Which is the uh, alliance they're part of. Focus on that properly. I very much doubt it for some reason. Come on. Come on. Just use my hands to focus, please. There we go. Yeah, I've got the Star, Al Star Alliance logo on the door there. Um, is that actually. Yeah, I believe that's been licensed as well. Very, very nicely done. Next, we have the um, well, first aircraft we saw, which was the Tite. This one's a little bit hard to see since tail code is right under the uh, the moulding line there. But uh, this one is Hotel Sierra Tango Alpha Foxtrot. Come on, folks. Whoops. Yeah, this one's also a little bit loose on the um, stand as well. But um, yeah, if you get it back to folks on the plane, please. Focus. There we go. Again, nice little detailed model that. Very nicely done. Get tie leg on the tail. Company leg on the front. I believe these star lines as well. Uh, no, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. Tie are also star lines. I mean, they've got all the branding. In fact, I believe they're all star lines. Uh, Turkish is, Singapore is. Yeah, they're all star lines. Minus the Kinder aircraft. So I've got a feeling that star lines may have been involved in this one as well. But in the air, of course, then got the uh, final one, Turkish. Please focus. 
There we go. So this one is Foxtrot Whiskey Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. And again, you see Turkish Airlines F330. This, I think it's a new livery, actually, because they changed it a while ago. So it's got the little wishy thing at the back. I'm not quite sure that it's a tulip. I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, Turkish Airlines, again, very nicely detailed, very nicely done. Yeah, she can't complain, really. I must say, like I said at the start, I'm not the biggest Airbus fan in the world. I mean, I'm much more of my manual Boeing flying, but hey, who am I going to complain, really? But uh, no, this is genuinely, genuinely a nice little model, this. So um, yeah, so next I'm going to try and put the stands together following the instructions that it came with, which is all of this gubbins up here, or that, and um, yeah, see what happens next. So give me about two minutes, another jump cut, and we'll see what the full set looks like. See you in a bit. And so there we have it, our completed Kinder Surprise World Above the Clouds Airbus A330 Collector's Edition. I don't believe I'm saying this right now. It genuinely is almost ridiculous to think about, but it genuinely is a plausible attempt at a collector's edition set from Kinder Chocolates. I mean, I'm going to look into this a lot more, see what actually is the premise of this, like, is this Airbus, like, created? Is this Star Alliance created? I mean, it's all Airbus A330, so I'm guessing Airbus has more to do with it. Um, but all these, like, little instruction manual pamphlets about the different aircraft as well, so you get your... Well, we've got our Lufthansa one there. You've got your, um... Singapore Airlines, you've got your Kinder Air. Man, some of these are really weird. Uh, you got your Turkish Airlines and you got your tight. I must say, round of applause for Kinder and Airbus for genuinely pulling this one off. Uh, again, I mean, like I said, we're not going to forget about all the times they've uh, caused us issues in our FS Passenger series or uh, Flights in Worlds when we had to go around on that one mission. But no, round of applause. I mean, like, even the little detailing in the box, like, if you've got the card, like, about pointing there. Like, the way the actual stand slits into the little cutout on the cardboard base, like, that's actually quite smart. I can now, like, tilt the box, hold it sideways, please, without falling. And, um, yeah, it genuinely will support itself. Fair play. Fair play. I've now got my own little miniature collection of Airbus A330 models. Nothing I thought I'd ever get. It's a tiny little thing that will probably live proudly on my shelf, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, it's just uh, quite a nice little thing, that. So, if you're hoping to get one of these yourself, then um, all I can really say to that is good luck. I mean, you can't buy these on the uh, sale at normal stores. And to be fair, for the most part, you can't even buy these online. So, these are built, or well, at least these are the times by the, uh, the, if I've got my fingers there, the K Traveller series, where basically um, you're only meant to get these if you're travelling around the world, which is like Kinder Special Edition kind of thing, and um, yeah, look online, um, you can only get these, you can't get these in the UK first of all, no duty free store stocks these in the UK, uh, you can get them in Dublin, some people have spotted these in Frankfurt and Dusseldorf, and in my case, I got this set out of Zheshov Ishonska Airport, Port Slotniski Zheshov. If I could just stick the receipt into there. There you go. So, um, yeah. Fair play to Airbus, fair play to Kinder Chocolates. And um, that's about it, really. There's nothing else really to say other than that this genuinely was a surprising little set, that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the little video. If you guys are interested in like, real world bit of fun kind of videos then do let me know do let me know i'll be happy to make a couple more of these i mean don't forget that this did cost about 10 quids normally kinder eggs are like three for atp kind of thing so one for two pounds quite high but you don't get a collector's edition airbus aircraft in them do you i mean <laughs> there are benefits to this i'm not gonna lie and uh as a an aviation fan while the a330 isn't my go-to aircraft it really isn't like in my top 10 of favorite aircraft i'm gonna be honest a330, and you've got the A350 now replacing it, and the Boeing equivalents, the um, 777, and the 787 even these days, um, yeah, it's got its uh, 
It's got its benefits, it's got its downsides, but what can I say, really? Um, I'm actually quite... Look at that, I'm, imp I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm quite chuffed by that, and it will live on my shelf in a rather little happy spot. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do leave a like if you did. Do subscribe. And um, it's like I've now got a bunch of these chocolate eggshells to now enjoy. And yeah, whoops. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.